page 152. Let's read and enjoy. Going to buy a book. One day, Grandfather gave my brother and me some money. Go and buy books, he said. We were both very happy. We both loved to read. Should we go now? Should we go later? Should we go today? Should we go tomorrow? We decided to go right now. Page 153 Should we go to the big market? Should we go to the small shop? Should we go with somebody? Should we go alone? We decided to go to the small shop. Just the two of us. We like the small bookshop. It is small, but it has many books. The man in the shop likes us. He always helps us. Should I buy a book with a lot of pictures? Should I buy a book with a lot of stories? Should I buy a thin book? I could not decide. Page 154 We did not know which book to buy. The man in the shop smiled at us. Relax, come with me, he said. These books are about animals. Those are about machines. Those over there are about wars. Take what you want. I picked some books. My brother picked some books. I sat on the floor. He sat on the chair. And we read and we read and we read. Page 155 it was very quiet. There was no sound. One hour passed. Two hours passed. Finally, we knew which books to buy. The man in the bookshop smiled at us. I got a fat book with many stories. My brother got a big book with many pictures. We ran home to our grandfather. We climbed on his bed. He put his arms around us and then we read and read and read. Poem by Rukmani Banerjee New Words Alone Bookshop Machines Finally Climbed Page 156 Reading is fun. 1. Why did Grandfather give the children money? 2. Where did they go to buy books? 3. Did the girl buy a picture book? Let's listen and search. In small groups, one child will give directions orally only once. The others will listen and hunt for the following. 1. A circle. 2. A square. 3. A triangle. 4. A piece of paper with three signatures. 5. A piece of paper with red color. 6. A piece of paper with a number. 7. A piece of paper with a label of T. 8. A twig in the shape of an alphabetic letter. 9. A slab of mud with a drawing. 10. A flower in the shape of a number. Let's talk. 1. Is there a bookshop near your home? If there is, do you like to visit it? 2. What are the different kinds of books in this bookshop? 
or in any other bookshop you have seen. Tell the class. Page 157 Let's write 1. Look at these sentences in the story. A. Should we go to the big market? B. Should we go to the small shop? C. Should I buy a thin book? The colored words above are describing words. Now fill in more describing words into the passage below. It was a blank night. A blank girl sat up in bed listening to her mother. Tell a blank story. Her blank eyes opened wide and she gave a blank smile. Now go to sleep, Paro. Her mother closed the book. Blank dreams. 2. Imagine that you will go to the bookshop tomorrow. What will you do there? Write five sentences beginning with A. I shall Blank B. I shall Blank C. I shall Blank D. I shall Blank E. I shall Blank Page 158 3. Tina goes to her school library to borrow a book. Complete her dialogue with the librarian by using and or or in the blanks. Tina Ma'am, I want to borrow a book. Librarian Do you want a storybook? Blank A book of poems. Tina I want a storybook. Librarian Do you like stories about animals? Blank Adventure stories. Tina I like both. Librarian Go to the second cupboard. On the first shelf, you will find animal stories. Blank On the second, adventure stories. Tina, after selecting two books. Ma'am, I want Black Beauty. Blank Panchatantra stories. Librarian You can have either Black Beauty, Blank, Panchatantra stories. 4. What is your favorite book? Write down the name of the book. Then write down the story. Page 159 Let's make a bookmark. Make your own bookmark. Remember to treat your books well. Never fold the corners of pages. This makes books look shabby and old. A bookmark helps you to find the page you were on when you last read your book. Here is a way to make your own beautiful Dove bookmark. You need an old greeting card or wedding card or scissors. A black bindi for the eyes. Method. Take the old card. You will need to use the inside of the card. Fold it into two as shown in the picture. Trace the outline of a dove on the card. Cut it along the lines. Make an outline with a black pen. 
stick a bindi for the eye. Paste it on a strip of 2 inches by 4 inches. Your dove bookmark is now ready to be used. Page 160 Let's cover a book. 1. Spread your notebook on a brown paper, which is 4 inches bigger than your notebook, as shown in the picture. 2. Fold the paper into two halves with the book inside it in the middle. 3. Fold the two open flaps of paper inside the first and the last page of the book and press to crease. 4. Fold the closed end of the two top and bottom flaps of the paper, forming a triangle. Crease the paper and cut it. 5. Fold the two front flaps inside the first page and crease it. 6. Fold the two back flaps under the last page and crease it. 7. Now your book is neatly covered. 8. Write your name and class on the cover. Then write the subject you will use this notebook for. Page 161 Do you know? The earliest books were written by hand. 2000 years ago in India, birch bark, bhojapatra and palm leaves, talapatra were used for pages. A pen and a black ink were used to write on birch bark. A sharp iron spike was used for writing on palm leaves. Holes were drilled through the leaves and the book was held together by a string. Pictures of iron spike, palm leaves, birch bark, palm leaf is given. Enjoy and read the poem. Say in chorus. Books are great. Books are fun. Books let you do what you have never done. Read a good mystery. Solve a crime. Read about history. Go back in time. Read about a lost dog. Where can it be? Read about a giant frog under the sea. Read a very funny book. Tears go away. Read a bright sunny book on a rainy day. Chorus Books are great. Books are fun. Let's read books, everyone. Poem by Mash Goldfish Adapted Page 162 Teacher's Page Unit 9 Poem Books Story Going to Buy a Book Themes Books and the Joy of Reading By this unit, the children can be encouraged to prepare their own class dictionary. Reading aloud and looking at colourful illustrations together will help children love books. Show your children that reading books is a pleasant and a meaningful activity. Encourage reading as an individual activity in addition to the pleasure of reading. Library Time 1. Let the class visit the school or local library where the librarian can show where different kinds of books are kept. 2. Let each child choose one book to read and talk about it later. Keep a large chart that shows how many books the class has read through the year. 3. Find out what kinds of books children like to read most. For example, adventure stories, mysteries, information books, humour or even comics etc. Encourage children to describe favourite books that they have read. 4. Emphasise how books must be loved and kept well. 
show them how to cover their books. Encourage them to use bookmarks. 5. Divide the class into three groups. Let the entire class recite the chorus together. Each group can recite two lines in turn. 6. Practice the usage of future tense by giving the class different situations. 7. Talk about the characters, setting, action and descriptions. Help the child to link the story to events and real-life situations. 8. Read words aloud. Talk about the letters, sounds and meanings. 9. Take care to see that the language is at the child's level, the material varied and stories joyful. 10. Carry out a brief conversation involving seeking and giving information. 11. Take dictation of simple sentences and practice copywriting from the blackboard and textbook and use common punctuation marks.